Who are you right fucking now? And what are you right fucking now? Without the bullshit. Therefore, let's ignore the experts, the ego spurts, and the experts with all their graphs, their analyses, and their polls, and their slyans, and their slyans. All this bullshit that's been put here to confuse you. Deliberately been put here to confuse you. Because the truth is simple to understand. And even a small child can understand the truth when explained to them using common sense. Who are you? What are you right fucking now? Without the bullshit. When you are confused, you are being lied to. When you are confused, you are being lied to. The truth is simple to understand. Therefore, microwaves, radio waves, X-rays. Have you heard about these energies before? You have. Every single day of your life, you interact with these energies. You have radio waves, microwaves, infrared light, visible light, ultraviolet light, X-rays and gamma rays. And these energies are what we call energies on the electromagnetic spectrum of light. Notice the word, the word light. Notice the big ball in the sky in the mornings that gives you life. And we call this big ball the sun. This is where this light comes from, this energy. These radio waves, microwaves, infrared light, visible light. Ultraviolet light, X-rays and gamma rays. This is where this energy comes from. And you are part of this energy right now, having an experience in this small piece of light, this visible light, because your biological computer can process this little piece of light on the electromagnetic spectrum of light, which we call visible light. This is the little piece you experience right now. But if you look at the other energies that also exist outside this little piece which we call physical reality, when you look at the other energies, it's simple to understand. They are there. There is more to this than just this little fucking little you. There's more to this than just this little fucking one little planet in this little fucking one little existence. There's more to this. So you exist, you exist outside of this physical reality or this little piece of light called visible light on this electromagnetic spectrum of light. You are more than this and therefore you can call yourself a soul, an essence, an energy. I don't care what you call it. You are more than just this little piece of fucking meat suit, which is in fact a beautiful biological computer, a living library of endless existence. This is just your jacket you are wearing right now while you're having this experience. And this is simple to understand. Why has this not been explained to you when you are a small child? Why does this common sense not exist as common knowledge for all? Hmm... I am an endless being of potential to create. Endless. In an endless, infinite, 100 trillion living galaxy existence. I'm part of this endlessness, this explosion of creativity. I'm part of this. Hmm. Why has this been kept from you? And why does it seem like everything out there, all this bullshit that's been piled on top of you, why does it seem like it's just more bullshit? Why is there so much effort being put into keeping you confused and keeping you stupid? What's going on here? Why is this not simple? Why do you, do, why do you not know this from when you are a small child? That right now, in all these beautiful energies of existence, I'm right now existing in this small piece of energy called visible light on the electromagnetic spectrum of light, 
we call physical reality. But there's other energies. There's radio waves. There's microwaves. There's infrared light. There's ultraviolet light. There's x-rays. There's gamma rays. There's the sun. That's where this light comes from. And when you are five years old and you're a child, you'll say, that big ball? I say, yeah, that big ball is the light. And there's other types of light energies. And this is what they are. Let's put on the radio. This is one of those energies. And a five-year-old child will understand this. And then I can go on explaining to them. You are not just this little piece of meat suit. This beautiful biological computer. You are more than this. You exist endlessly into an endless state. And then I can explain to the small child. When you go to bed and you have a dream. You visit other places in your endlessness, in your soul, your essence. And the child will understand. When we use our imagination, let's go to a beach right now. A white sandy beach. Let's stand there. Let's feel the cold water, salty water on our feet. Let's look at the beautiful plant kingdom behind, plant kingdom behind us. The beautiful, beautiful palm trees and all the other green plants. Right now. We are there right now. And the child will begin to understand that I do, I do not just exist in this physical body. I'm right now creating and having an experience in my soul, my endlessness. And therefore, that's, this makes me multidimensional. I'm multidimensional in my energy, my soul, my state, my light. Because when you look underneath a microscope, when you look at yourself, your beautiful biological computer, you will notice there's nothing there. There's a whole bunch, there's a whole bunch of small little bubbles dancing around. It's information, it's energy, it's a song, it's a painting, it's a beautiful story you are telling in this endless existence of being. Why are these simple facts, not common sense and common knowledge? Everywhere. And then it's easy to start going further and understand. You are part of a hundred trillion year old. Hundred trillion galaxy existence. That's 21 trillion years old. And then you're going to start figuring out. But listen. There's hundred trillion galaxies. There's planets and life everywhere. You see you're going to start asking questions. How are the beings doing on these planets, living in their endless creativity, exploding into their endlessness, truth and justice, integrity, dignity, honor, freedom, abundance for all. You're going you're gonna to start asking questions. How is it going over there while you are living in this hell you call earth? Because then you're going to start asking questions. Okay, but why am, why am I living in this state, this hell, this this uncomfortableness. Now, all this bullshit's been piled on top of me. You need to start asking yourself some questions. What's going on in this little freak show of vomiting insanity you find yourself in? You need to start asking some questions. Why, all the, why are all the effort being put in to keep you confused and to keep you stupid? When a small child can understand the truth. When we ignore for just a moment the fucking bullshit. From the experts and the ego spurts and the experts and all their science and schlions and slions with their polls and their analyses and their graphs. Which is exactly like this other bullshit, this stinky dead corpse and his flat earth god. His book tells you this is a flat earth with a dome on top. There's just little one little fucking flat earth and that stinky dead, dead corpse. It's going to climb down and come save you from the big red monster that escaped from the cage and took control of those whole little one little fucking flat earth garden. You need to fucking wake up. Start using common sense and start finding the one truth. Because this science, this science bullshit is exactly the same as this religious bullshit telling you a bunch of fucking lies to keep you stupid. You need to ask yourself, why is there so much effort being put in to keep you fucking stupid? Endless being of creation. Endless multidimensional being of existence. 
the gods and the goddesses of existence. Small, tiny, fat and useless. Believing in stories about a stinky dead corpse that's coming down to come and save them because they are so fucking useless and sinful and mistakes in this existence. Now this science bullshit is going further, telling you you're a big fucking mistake that exploded from nothing. Whoopsie. You need to ask yourself some questions and why is so much effort being put in to keep the truth from you when a small child, small child, can understand the truth. My darling My beautiful daughter, Earth. Let's stand on a beach together. Feel the cold water on your, on your feet. Look at the white sandy beach. Experience the plant and the animal kingdoms behind you. When you fall asleep and when you dream, you visit all these other places. These 100 galaxies of an endless existence of being. My beautiful daughter, Earth. We, the great central race from the great central sun, the 1.7 billion immortal archangels and war angels that are here right now, looking at our daughter, Earth, looking at what's been going on here. We're also asking some questions. My beautiful daughter Earth, what has happened here to our plants, to our animals, to our innocent, beautiful, divine children that's starving right now, right now? You divine being, just like we are asking questions, you should start asking questions as well. Use common sense and the truth. And you'll be surprised how easy it will be for you to remember who and what you are. <laughs>